Hello everyone, welcome back to The Flying Brick and today I'll be showing you how to install dual motors to the LEGO 73, sorry, LEGO 7939 um, cargo train locomotive from 2010. Um, this video is very similar to the 60098 locomotive, especially because they're very similar designed trains, so um, it'll be very similar, but anyway, I'll show you how to do it for this train, so... Uh, uh, let's get into it. Let's start with the motor. Okay, so what you need for this tutorial, you need um, a pair of Lego lights. You need a motor with the wheels and axles. You need two of these bogey detail pieces. And you need a coupler. It, can, it doesn't matter if it has a snow plow, snow, plow or not. snow plow or not. I just got mine from the 60098 locomotive. So, you have your motor. And you put the coupler detail pieces on like that. And um, to get this to to get this able to work, to be oh my god, to to get this to work successfully, um, we can't put the motor up the locomotive like that because they'll go they'll go opposite directions and your train won't move at all. So we are going to um, turn this around. Flip the wire over like that, and then get the coupler piece and put it on there. The coupler and the wire won't interfere with each, with each other since the wire is above the one plate height of when the coupler is on. So um, that'll work. So let's let's uh, put it in the locomotive. Okay, so. This train is more enclosed than the 60098 locomotive, but it'll still work. So you have to take some things off the train. Um, so we'll start with this um, fake bogey. This is the one with the orange tube parts and the grey pieces on the bottom. And um, it'll also have a yellow turntable piece, unlike the motors which have a black turntable piece built into the motor. So you take that off and then you take take this off so you can see inside and now we're going to put uh, we'll put this under also take this middle part out which has the pneumatics oil electrics and water detail on it so you're going to want to push the wire down and then you put it in the same axle hole as the dummy bogey because it's the same size okay yep so mine's in make sure it turns freely as well and now um, get the get the wire and put it through like that put it in the opposite 2x2 two two square as the other motor so um, it'll come through up here okay here we go here's the motor piece and your uh, motor might have a red tile on it all you have to do is um, remove that tile and just place it anywhere else or put it into your collection that doesn't really matter and then you put and then you put the and then you attach the wire so our so our train will work all you have to do is turn it on now and um, your locomotive now is dual motors all you have to do is put this back on and the top back on if you don't want to put the lights on but now I'll show you how to put the lights on. okay so um, in order to put the lights in we need to we need to get these LEDs in these to clear pieces where it mounts so what we have to do we'll let's take the uh, let's take this tile off and basically take everything off take the train driver out and um, take everything off so this um, take these four 6L bars off And um, 
Now you can take... Okay, no, take these, um, take these parts off. And now you can take your, the panels off, like that. And now, take the IR receiver off, like that. And, um, okay, now take the, take, take this off. But we'll need that pretty soon. Okay, and then take these chair off with both the arch pieces under and then lastly take off this arch piece here so now we have a clear way under everything so now get your wire and um, put it in the put it inside this piece there's little holes where you can put it in and now um, fit in securely once you line it up so make sure you put the left light in the left hole and the right light in the right hole so let's put ours in we'll get the right light and put that in as well okay so also twist it towards the center as well so now that's done we can put that back in and the and the arches these is very important to make sure you put the make sure the wires go through that the path there so put the arch piece down in there like that and it should go down securely and also and um okay so actually we need to take these we'll take these panels off take the panels off we'll take these door parts off okay so now so now the arch piece here goes back make sure the wire goes under that as well and now what we do we we pull we pull the wire back so the the um the black the pat the black brick that's turning the two light wires into the one wire to go to the IR receiver you put that brick there like that and then you put the arch piece back like that so yeah that should work okay now you may have these wires just like um just hanging around just put it just squish them it just squish the wire parts down there it won't actually damage anything so that's um why we do it so get your uh ir receiver and put that on top like that you have to press down fairly hard for it to work so so it does work for me though so um put the wire panels put the door pieces back on Oops. put the okay now put this back on and um okay so now you have your light wire up here put um, actually I'm gonna keep it I haven't done this before so I don't know whether it can fit on top of the two motor wires or not so um, put your actually take this off put that around the other side like that and then put this back make sure the 7939 sticker is on the right okay so get your 1x6 arch pieces with 44 45 slopes on top and then put that back on put your put the front of the train back on with the tile on top and lastly put the put the six l bars back on so uh, if i can find the last ones put them on on the other side as well okay so now we have our uh, wire put the panel bars back on put the panel pieces back on like that put these panel pieces back on that are dark bluish gray make sure to put them on on the inside like that and now you have your wire and let me see if this will work so um don't put it onto the motors yet okay no it won't work 
you'll have to put it onto the other channel the the blue channel so put it down there like that and um and now you're done so actually you're not done put your put your underpiece uh back on like that just put it back on under and then lastly put the pantograph piece back on, on the top and now you're done so now you have a 7939 um, locomotive with dual motors and lights at the front so um, let me just get my controller okay just to test it works turn on your turn on your train there and get your controller and see if it works okay so let's test let's test the lights first okay they work as you turn the as you turn the wheel on the controller they have a little differences in light but that's normal okay now let's test the let's test the motors ah yes it works it works and um the thing about having two motors in one locomotive you can pull a lot more carriages you can pull a lot more lego um carriages and rolling stock than the than one train with one motor so um there you have it a lego 7939 cargo train with dual motors and lights um thanks for watching if you like this video or know other people that would like this tutorial please uh share it with those people comment down below if you liked the video or not and um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye